Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hello, my name is Vanessa Nakaribu, and to this YouTube channel. Leo, I'm looking a little bit different. Disclaimer is in Gwen is a kuomba. <laughs> These are my roommate's clothes, and as you can see, they are a bit dirty. Jo, me talka practical Leo, but yeah, I decided to wear them for the first time and try cook something. Yeah, so she's given me a recipe or something they cooked, so I'll try to recreate that. So in this video, we will be cooking a mini mini pizza. Can pizza tuka dogo? Cause it's my first time cooking, second time, but same too. It's like my first time cooking it. Na, I don't know how it will turn out. Don't know to a small pizza. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So first things first, I've said I'm using one and a half cup of flour. I will be using a jab and nikonayo. And next thing, this is yeast. I've just packaged it in ik to your chia seeds. Juya your packaging and kill me leak or something. So first things first is put the yeast in this water. This is warm water. You can either use water or milk but it will warm for it to activate the yeast so I'll just put this one and a half of that yeast just stir it kidogo then leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes and it will activate so it activate when it starts forming some bubbles chemistry chemistry anyway let's just leave that for some time about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I will be saving the flour. Let me save the flour. This is very advisable. The Bosco and plugs you can mix and stuff. So <laughs> I'm actually not sure this is the best equipment. Yakunini, Yakusiv. But the other sieves I have are small. Anyway, this is working. So in the meantime, you can be telling me down in the comment section, um, have you made pizza before at home? And something else, I, I, I don't know if I said, ni, I will be using toppings of my choice. Kila mtu kuna what you love in pizza, kuna tu wanapenda, wana, wanapenda veggies, some people love meat and stuff, others barbecue, all those so toppings ni to me according to what you like. There is no limit to that. So I think that's that. In the meantime, our yeast inactivate. So you know, that's looking good. Something else I will add here is some sugar. Some sugar. I think those two teaspoons will be enough. And some salt. Just a pinch, pinch, pinch of salt. Ah, two pinches. <laughs> I think that's that. And let me see you guys, Nikki Tengeneza, because see, the students, we don't have like much space around here. But yeah. Our dough is finally ready. It's looking all nice. Let me oil it. we have oiled it up. Um, so the next thing that we do is you take the dough. So we are just gonna transfer it into this sufuria over there. You can oil. Cause um, let me first say this. You you're supposed to put your dough kiasi for like an hour or something. You can even put it overnight for it to double. Like you used to activate ifure and stuff. But we don't have like a lot of time. It's at night now. We have things to do. Um, we are gonna transfer it upper, then we cover with a damp towel. As so, I love to use a oven and uh, see a lot of heat, low heat too. The oil yeast it activate faster, like he yeast at the heat, yeast inactivate more with with the amount of heat that you subject it to. I think so. Yeah, let's take it to the oven for about good for my fifteen minutes. so good now these are the toppings that i will be using i'm not doing something much i will be using onions i have some garlic i will also be using garlic powder i have in it i have some cheese over there i won't be using so much of it 
na nini ingine i also have some sauce and some some tomatoes over here that nazi boil because i don't have tomato paste but when you boil them i don't know if you guys can see it's easier to peel so you can just blend them some other things that you can use in cooking pizza next our tomatoes here it's pretty hot when you boil the tomato it peels off easily because you don't want this cover no, no. this cover in the sauce that you're making so actually some are just making a mini pizza so it's easy i'm just gonna use two potatoes here in moto i finished cutting this now i'll just shred this cheese now nah, great easy So now, because I'm done cutting them up, chopping the things, the ingredients up, I'm just gonna be frying the onions. Na ho ho na So let's wait for this mofta to to warm up. I won't like but you overcook them. For the nyanya, nisha fill na nisha ibonda. You can just blend it either way. But yeah, let's wait for oh, in the kubuka. And we will also be having this. We have two smokies. You have to put here up. We just zita iba tu na yoyo kuta iba. This yaha kuti it has come in handy. So that's that. Let's leave it for some time. I'll just add in a bit of salt. You don't get it. That will be just fine. You know, you know, I've added a bit of scenery to give it some color. Yeah, so like two more minutes then to be fine. Our dough has doubled as you can see. It has not even taken more than like 15 minutes. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and start preparing so no na bany na fa ime eva eva it's looking nice we we will be using this sini and sini adma to <laughs> pick your pizza up because you don't have those pizza trays tuna tuna brush so to yeah <laughs> <it's a judge. laughs> so you can just do the spreading with your arms Kipeleka tu hivyo in circular whatever, but usifanya tikuwe bina po katikati. <laughs> She's trying to to make it circular. <laughs> what we've come up with, it's not a perfect circle, like in, in a car somehow. So we're just gonna poke it like that na fork for aeration level even dani then heat it kwa oven like tuache iko kidogo tu if you don't have an oven actually unaweza tumia adi gas like you can use your pan your frying pan so na dunga dunga hivyo ndivyo even whatever ndani so we just gonna put it in the oven kitu kama 5 minutes iko tu kidogo then to get the toppings 5 minutes later this is how it looks like tunana imeviva that's what we wanted to achieve sasa we want to start putting the toppings let me just remove this glove and i said i wanted to put a bit of barbecue sauce i think it's time this is the sauce that i'm using barbecue sauce na sina something like a this and I spread up and think that will be enough me and that me to eat jiko junior niko nayo just spread that like that then next thing kuna zile tomatoes tuliko tumeweka here we have the tomatoes hatuna blender sasa ziko na some chunks but i think it's still okay 
I've just put a bit of black pepper up a quite tomato sauce. I think you can still use puree I'm a tomato paste. But PAE it still works. So I'm just gonna spread that evil. If you are blended, I guess you the better. Evil. Next, next I will. Next I will put a bit of cheese. This is mozzarella cheese. Okay, sprinkle to do evil. Some veggies. Okay, that's that. Take one uh take quite a lot of veggies. So you think that's enough. Then finally, hey, I shall see finally, we have these smokies in the middle, a line to evil. Once we make a we have the left cheese to make a sprinkle drip here. Cheese you can put as much as you want, the more the better. I think if you have we call sour. So let's now put it in the oven for a bit from 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes later and we are done. As you can see, it's looking really, really, really nice. I hope it tastes the same. So let's cut it in to one when you're in a taste. Fingers crossed. Now, oh, I don't have so sharp. I don't have so sharp. Mm -hmm. It's a bit crusty on the sides, or I guess it's in the same way. Let's see. You can see the, the the bread part is a bit thick which is okay cheese iko sour i think the toppings is iko sour let's taste ace in immortal nimba chai cool this is embarrass nimba chai cool so it's quite hot mm no me meva I love the taste. The cheese in the Sakana Joy guest cheese in the uniform of the barbecue also the barbecue. Barbecue also equal it's somewhere that it's not too much, not too little. I just love it. So guys, I enjoyed doing this video with you guys. If you liked this video and this recipe, kindly give the video a like. Smash that like button and you can try the recipe bado unyambia vinyiko. I'm not kidding. See later. Oh my god, not just little, but I honestly love it and I think I would cook the same recipe again. I would recommend so you can also try it out and tell me in the comment section. Vinyiko, 
I love you guys and see you in my next video. Bye.